Although we did not see temperatures in the 90s today, dew point temperatures were still in the 70s. Right now in Shano, the dew point is 75. That's very sticky, but some big changes are moving in tonight. Your forecast is next. Now, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, featuring the three degree guarantee, sponsored by your Wisconsin Chevy Super Dealers. Well, every year I talk about heat killers, thunderstorms in the middle of the afternoon that can change a forecast high of 90 to 95 to 80 to 85. And that's exactly what we saw today. Temperatures dropped into the 70s with those thunderstorms, but now with lots of sunshine, 80s have returned. Although in Kiwani, the sensor is reporting 110 degrees. It's not that hot in Kiwani right now, but we've been getting some pretty wacky readings from the sensor ever since those thunderstorms moved over around noon which at the time the Doppler radar was showing winds at around 2000 feet at 100 miles per hour. Here's the squall line as it sweeped through Green Bay during the late morning, producing very heavy rain and winds gusting 50 to 60 miles per hour. Lightning track 26 showing those thunderstorms developing across central Wisconsin and then moving east during the late morning and early afternoon. Tonight, that line of severe thunderstorms is between Detroit and Cleveland, and it looks like the next batch of severe thunderstorms is developing way off to the south across northern Illinois, where we do have a severe thunderstorm warning to the north and west of Chicago for the potential of damaging winds, lots of lightning, and possibly even a tornado. Meanwhile, to the north and west of Green Bay, there are some spotty showers and perhaps a couple of thunderstorms. That's with the cold front that is slowly dropping south and east across the state right now. And this is a strong front, no doubt about it. Take a look at the temperature readings from the middle of the afternoon, north and south of this front. 98 degrees in Chicago, 101 in St. Louis, but only 68 in Marquette and 70 in International Falls. And that much cooler weather is going to move in behind the cold front later on tonight. We're going to have gusty northeast winds between 20 and 30 miles per hour off the Bay and Lake. So highs tomorrow only in the 60s across the Door Peninsula, mainly lower 70s then from around the Fox Cities south and west. Something else you'll notice instead of dew points in the 70s, we will watch dew points fall into the lower 60s and and then down into the more comfortable 50s by Thursday morning. Plenty of clouds behind the front tomorrow. A few sprinkles, a little drizzle possible from time to time. Morning clouds on Thursday, then giving way to lots of sunshine by the late afternoon. So tonight, dropping dew points with lots of clouds. Still a slight chance for a shower or thunderstorm. Most of us will stay dry. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, some drizzle or a few sprinkles. It's going to be breezy and cooler. My three degree guarantee is 70. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to New Community Shelter. And we did not do that today. I forecast 88. The high was 83 before the thunderstorms hit. 78 on Thursday, 80 on Friday. Some morning showers and thunderstorms and then just a beautiful weekend. Labor Day weekend looks great. Lots of sunshine, lower 80s initially, lower 70s by Monday. This week's sports showdown and game of the week is a powerhouse matchup between the Kimberly Papermakers and the Bayport Pirates. Note this game is Thursday night. Kickoff is at 7 o'clock and you can watch the game over on TV 32. We're taking a look at the growing